What's up everybody? I'm finally back making tutorial videos for the bug. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to put in an electronic distributor. So apologies for it taking forever for me to actually come up with some more of these Volkswagen bug tutorial videos. I moved into this new house and I decided that it needed a fresh coat of paint on the outside. So I decided to paint the whole exterior with a hand roller. Worst idea of my entire life pay anybody as much money as they want to, to actually paint the ex exterior of your house because it is a pain in the butt and it's, it's not worth it at all. Um, also I've been working on the bug a little bit. I've just been, well the biggest thing is I rewired the entire bug because I was driving on the freeway, hit a bump and the whole main harness from the front of the trunk back to the engine lit on fire, the cab was smoking and it was ridiculous. So I rewired the whole entire car, all the little lights and everything work now. Uh, I started working on the interior, cleaning it up, uh, putting in new door panels, running a nice sound system and stuff, which sound system not completely complete, so I'll make some videos on that. And then also been working on the cooling aspect of the car because I learned that everything needs to be sealed in the engine compartment for the fan to work. So I've been putting the seals around the engine and doing the, the plates on the bottom to guide the hot air in the correct direction. So now finally back, I'm gonna show you in this video how to put in an electronic ignition. All right, so you can notice the first thing I did right off the bat is I uh, obviously took the deck lid off. Um, my electronic uh, distributor that was in this, for some reason just wasn't giving spark. It was probably the sparker that was in here that burnt out or something like that. I tried different coils, so that's why I have you know, different coils plugged in right here. But in the end, I just bought a new coil and a new distributor on J-Bugs, and that was pretty much it. So I'm going to take this coil off, and I'm going to unbolt all the cables from this, like, master bolt wire connection here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start taking out the distributor. And then, uh, yeah, we'll put the new distributor in. So let's get this all cleaned up right now. So I will take an eight millimeter long socket and instead of unplugging each little terminal one at a time, it's kind of easier just to take this whole bolt off right here. You can go ahead and take off all the spark plug wires off the distributor cap. Um, it's really easy. The firing order of a Volkswagen is one, two, three, four. I'll put up a little diagram. But go ahead and unplug all the cables from the cap. Okay, now we're going to work on taking this coil out. When you're taking the coil out, it's important that you only work on the bolt that's holding the fastener because these bolts have a, at least for my fan shroud here, the, this bolt has a nut underneath it that's holding it down. So if I were to loosen this, then that nut's probably just going to drop and then end up in like the sitting over the pistons or something like that. And it's no good. So just only work with, with the bolt right here. So now let's go ahead and start removing the distributor, getting it up to top dead center, and putting the new distributor in. So what we want to do is we're going to take a 3 uh, spark plug puller socket, <laughs> and we're going to pull the first spark plug, which would be that guy on the back passenger side. Um, then we want the distributor to be facing at the number one spark plug. So if I put the distributor cap back on, that would be this spark plug right here. So obviously we're not at top dead center yet, so let's do that. So let's get to pulling the spark plug out. And then from that point, we're gonna put a pencil without any sort of eraser or make sure you don't put it in lead tip side first or some something to see 
when we turn the engine that the piston is sitting up at the top. Okay, let's get to that. Okay, that pencil is too short. I'm going to grab this longer screwdriver. Alright, I went and grabbed the socket wrench so I could start trying to turn the engine over to make this rotor face the number one, which means it needs to turn to like, I don't know, maybe 20 more degrees clockwise. And then I got my screwdriver sitting in the spark plug hole on top of the piston so then I can see when I turn the whole engine the rotor moving towards number one hopefully pushing that screwdriver out and I want to find that center where the screwdriver is the most out all right I want to start turning that and doing this whole thing I just said Well, that was totally way easier than I thought. You can actually pretty much turn this with your hand. Uh, also another note, there's a notch on the top of this belt, which I'm assuming is the timing mark. And I'm going to go ahead and just bring that to the top and I'm feeling like this is top dead center. Another point, let's check our cap, make sure it's facing the number one slot for the piston. And if I know this is number one. I'm going to pull it off and yeah, it's facing number one. So that's a good sign too. All right, so I'm pretty sure we're up to top dead center right now. So we have a 13 millimeter bolt. We need to take out the back of the distributor that's holding it down. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got that 13 millimeter nut off the back. So now I'm pretty sure this is to hold that clamp that was with that 13 millimeter nut. So let's just go ahead and wiggle on the distributor and see if it comes out. Oh, here we go. The moment of truth. Sweet. All right, cool. It came out. Well, okay. So I've uh, I've done a lot of distributors on small block Chevys. Never on this one. That's a really short shaft. I'm assuming there's some sort of uh, oil pump or something that connects here. So make sure you don't uh, turn the engine over or anything right now. Just giving a little peek inside that hole. And yeah, I was right. The, there's a tooth that obviously that part lines up to. Probably spins oil in a pump or something like that. So make sure when you're dropping the new distributor that you give the little rotor, a little rotation, make sure it clicks into place there. And it should all sit flush. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's move this bracket to the new distributor and then we'll drop the new distributor in. All right. So we got the old distributor. We got the new distributor right here. Looks good. Um, uh, yeah, the shafts look about the same size, same length, so great. Now, obviously this one, the new one doesn't have this bracket, so let's go ahead and put this bracket on the new one. I noticed the cables coming out of this one old, so let's try and just put the bracket in somewhat the same spot. Cool, so the little bracket's on. Obviously, this is going to have to be loosened so I can adjust the distributor to adjust the timing. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and take this cap off. Looks pretty standard. I'm going to just rotate this to 
what I think would be one. Cool. All right, let's go. Let's go drop this bad boy in and see what happens. <laughs> All right, I'm going to drop the distributor in. Actually, need to loosen this bracket before I do so, just so it has some freedom of movement there, but it's not going to fall off on me. Okay, distributor, the rotor's facing towards the number one. Um, I see the teeth are going to line up in that groove pretty good, so let's go ahead and drop it. Let's align that nut on the back. what you want to do but I uh, took off this little lid and the uh, little red rotor um, just so I could tap this very gently with a hammer in a circle to kind of like slip this down I also kept the teeth lined up and kept this still facing one so now I'm gonna put the bolts on and all the rest of the components I put the spark plug in, I use a little anti-seize on it. Just like that. Alright, let's start plugging all the spark plug wires back in. Make sure that you really get them plugged in. You want to make sure that the base is over little nipple of the spark plug okay it's time to put all the coil and spark plugs and everything back into the right spot here's my new coil I'm gonna put it in Okay, I just re realized this distributed cap actually has a little groove right here that's going to line up with exactly where this clamp is. Yeah, so it's best I kind of make sure that's lined up before I trying to turn it over. <laughs> there we go. Now I know it's lined up because it's, it's not turning in there at all. And these clamps go on a lot easier. Okay, now let's put the plug wires on. Alright, so the red is the positive and the black is the negative. Let's go ahead and plug those in. And then since I'm just testing it, I'm actually going to take the reverse light off and the carburetor positive choke, whatever it is for, off. All right, let's see if it turns over. Alright, there you have it. I got it to run. Uh, obviously need some tuning, so I'm going to go ahead and do some of that, try and figure out how to actually time one of these 1600 engines, and that's it. But, you know, you got the distributor lined up. I actually think that little tooth that I lined it in would, had to be something of the camshaft or something on this engine. So make sure that lines up. It should go in nice and easy and just click into place. Um, the rotor itself shouldn't move too much. Just barely any give there. If it gives a lot, that, that means those teeth aren't lined up and you're 
going to be off with your timing. But hey, it runs. That's uh, kind of the brief how to drop in an electronic distributor on one of these 1600 Volkswagen engines. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos.